Pops and welcome to the second video of my cosmetology school series. Today I'll be showing you my kit. Now I wanted to film this video a long time ago when I first got my kit but that didn't happen. So today I'll be showing you a little bit of what I have. Now my kit will differ from what you get or from what you already have. And the fact that I already said that my um, school is a Pivot Point member school, there's a few things that we got that was really awesome. So let's get started. So I first want to show you what we got in our kit. And this is it, and it's really heavy. Okay, and it's a duffel bag that they gave us that came with it. And they also gave us a box of doll heads. Um, I'll show you a few that I have. I try to put all my stuff in a suitcase just like some other people but for me um, I felt like it didn't work out maybe because I was using a smaller suitcase so I really like the stuffle bag that they gave us and um, it worked out really well but the only thing is that now there's like holes at the bottom because of all the scruffs against the ground and I'm not really taking care of it so yeah but the duffel bag is good. All right, so let's start off with, um, we, got, we got combs, brushes, clips, um, a blow dryer, straining iron, curling iron. Um, we got clippers from like men's clipper cuts. Um, practically all your basic stuff. We also got um, drapes and an apron and the stuff. We even got this thing called a romantic robe or a romantic gown that we have to use for our facial, so I'll show you that one. Alright, so here's my little box of my clips and I have some perm papers in there. Um, you'll know what perm papers are once you get into uh, school, but um, here's a little tip is um, in what we got in our kit, everything was in bags and bags and bags of things. So to organize your stuff, I recommend buying plastic containers like this and labeling them. I wasn't able to label this yet, but labeling them with your name and what's inside of it. And you also need to label all your stuff for state for the state board. So that's helpful. And in this box, I have, you know, clips. These are called gator clips. They're great for long hair. Obviously my perm wraps, which don't even go in the clip category. I also have um, duck bill clips, and as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but I, I bought a little container as well for all my duck bill clips, and they look like this. And they're great for um, if you're doing makeup, if you love to do makeup, this is great to put it in your client's hair with a business card, and that'll help. Um, with taking their hair out of their face and not creating like a crease in their hair or anything like that. So I have clips. We also got shears. Our shears are called From and um, they're really cute. You see that? Oh, and this is how you hold scissors. Or, sorry, we don't call them scissors. We call them shears because we are professional people. So <laughs> you're gonna take this and you see this little thing? That's where you're gonna rest your pinky on. Um, some scissors don't have it, some have um, things where you can unscrew it. So it all depends on what scissors you get. But you're gonna take your ring finger into the top hole and your pinky. And then you're gonna take your thumb at the bottom and you're probably just gonna rest your index and your middle anywhere on the scissors. And the tip is for a hairdresser, cause you know how like when we were little we cut scissors or we cut paper with our scissors like this, well, you're gonna cut hair with your shears with just your thumb moving. So as you can see, my top four fingers are not moving. So there you go. So we got uh, shears, not scissors, shears. Um, some other clips. Um, texting, she or texting, <laughs> texturizing shears which is good for um, adding texture into the hair, obviously. Now, I'm just going through my kit really randomly. 
So, like I said, I wish I would have filmed this video a long time ago, but it was really organized, so I'm really sorry for not having any structure in this video, but we'll just go through whatever I have. We also got rollers. We got straight rollers and cone rollers. These are great for that. Um, these are what you're going to be using for all your wet sets with the have it right here all in a paper towel bag or paper towel bag paper towel because I didn't have any plastic wrap to cover the top and that's another tip when you have containers that you need to bring from home to school or just if you have containers in general and um, you don't want it to spill take plastic wrap take a piece of plastic wrap and just open it up put it on top of the um, put it on top of the bottle screw on the lid and then you're good to go there shouldn't be any spills I mean I'm using a paper towel but plastic wrap is good to use um, this is setting lotion this is what you'll be using with your wet sets so we got that we didn't get setting lotion we got the bottle as part of our color kit here's my color box as you can see um, I don't know if you can see that but um, there's, I labeled it color, I labeled it with my name, and we got two more color bottles, brushes, we also got a box of gloves that you'll need for priming or for color. Get a color bowl, we got a dual color bowl, we can put one formula here and another here. Here is my box of combs and brushes. So we've got round brushes for air forming, which is another word for blow drying, but you're like forming the hair. So we got uh, round brushes, we got a Densman brush, which is really, or Sorry, not Densman, but Denmin brush. We also got, you know, rat tail combs. See all these combs. <laughs> mm. We got this cool. We got this cool teasing comb. It's got teeth for teasing, and then at the top you've got like some metal, small metal prongs for kind of. How would I say it? Bumping up the the volume, you know, and so that you don't have to like go in and like pull it out, but more so go in and kind of lightly pump it up. And a tip that I can give you is make sure that whatever combs that you're using for straightening the hair or curling the hair is hard rubber because I use one like for example, I use one of these combs and it's not hard rubber, it's not heat resistant, and I wasn't thinking about it. So I was straightening uh, my doll's hair, I was using this, and <laughs> my mistake, but the teeth started to kind of like melt and I didn't think I didn't think about it until after I saw it. So make sure that you use a heat resistant comb call or what it's called is hard rubber. So there's my combs and brushes that we got. My thermal stuff, my curling iron. Uh, here's another tip is uh, make sure to label everything that you have with you so that in case there's any five sticky fingers, you know, people who like to steal certain other people's stuff. But luckily in my class, I don't have anybody like that. Everyone's good. Everyone keeps their, has their own stuff. And if we ever borrow each other's, we pretty much give it back anyway. So, I mean, we're good about that. But just in case, if anything, make sure to label your stuff. And with my stuff, what I did is I bought some, um, it's like fabric tape. Well, I mean, the texture is fabric. You can even buy a uh, washi tape at a craft store. Or even I think they have it at like Walmart or Target. And just tape it around your thermal tools. I even did that um, on the bottom of each plug. Let me see. Let me show you. The bottom of each plug. So as you can see, I taped it there. 
so that when I plug it in, I know which one's mine. So that's helpful. We got a curling iron. Oh, and this is called a uh, Marcel iron because it has a clamp. It's not like a spring iron clamp where um, most people, I'm pretty sure you have, you even have it right in your own, your own bathroom or your own room. So um, this one's a Marcel. There's no spring. It's a little bit, it takes some time to get used to. But you can either hold it like this, some people hold it like this, some people hold it like this, you know, it's all through your own preference. I usually hold it with my index in and my three fingers out. And it's easier for you to uh, curl the hair than having to really use your wrist. We also got men's clippers. We got two kinds, we got a wall, and we also have an andis. So we like a trimmer and, you know, the full on clipping the hair and with that as well we got clipper guards this was really neat um, when I got this I got excited because a um, long time ago I was clipping my boyfriend's hair with whatever he had or whatever his friend had and it didn't have the full set so after that I was looking at TJ Maxx and Ross for Seeing something cheap like this with the clipper guards, but the fact that I got it in my kit, it works out, so now I have it. You also get like a bunch of different perm size rods. These ones are the white and gray ones. Oh, there's also like pink, orange, blue, whatever it is. So those are all for perming. So then I guess I'll show you my doll heads. Here's one that I already worked on. Um, a tip is, like I said, label everything, so put your name either on the front. Uh, I suggest putting it on the back in case you wanted one of your friends to borrow it and so the teacher doesn't get kind of like, oh, did you, are you sure you did your own kind of thing, you know, are you sure you did this? So um, here's a doll head. She's, she was about, she was long, obviously she was really long, she was longer than this. And so we cut her and colored her. So you guys will all be learning that soon in school. So that was fun. So we got, I think she's a baddie doll. We got seven of these. We also got a... Oh, and those dolls you can use for color, perming, um, obviously shampooing, blow drying, hair cutting. And um, a tip is one time I used one of those dolls, well we had to use one of those dolls for perming and we did a real life perm on her and then after that her hair was bad, like her hair was like super nappy, like super super nappy, really um, stuck in tangles and she was just like problematic. I even like out of frustration I threw her across the across my bathroom because I was so frustrated with her trying to get the tangles out. So she's just done. Um, poor her, R.I.P. Rest in peace. But uh, what we learned was that some of these dolls the way that it's sewn into the head, it's just randomly and out of place. So there might be a doll head that you might get in your kit where the hair just sucks. Like every time that you wash it and then after you like blow dry, even if you put detangler and conditioning or conditioner in it, she's still really nappy. Yeah, then you got a doll that just, the hairs are just sewed in in any random order and any direction and shape so you might get that so be prepared for that we also got this girl um she's for pressing curls um she's she's also well she's mostly for pressing curls but as you can see her hair is straight because we did i did pressing curl on her but um she her hair is naturally like uh kinky and kind of curly we have a doll for men's um, haircuts and beard and mustache and that doll's kind of creepy because the hair is really long on the beard and the mustache that it just looks creepy but we have one for that to learn that we haven't touched that yet we also have a long blonde doll head to do updos on and I already did an updo on her. Maybe I'll insert like a picture of what I did. I posted it up on my uh, personal Instagram, so maybe I'll show you that 
um, here in this video at the end. So we also got nail stuff. I have some stuff in here that's already been added. So we got um, nail files, uh, a brush for our acrylic brush sets. We got a cuticle pusher, a manicure brush, manicure bowl, uh, nail glue, stuff for acrylic, so acrylic powder. And we also got a few of these practice fingers to do nails on. So obviously, see these kinds. Um, I already did some. We were playing around and I wanted to do like a claw shaped nail. So you, you get some of that. We also got four nail polishes, um, a clear coat, a base coat, and two colors. And from what I know in the state board exam for California is that they want you to have a red nail polish. So we do have red nail polish for them to see. So you get nail tips, you get um, a nail clipper. We also got these bottles included. They look like this. And let's see, we had to label them cuticle, cuticle oil. And so we got that for all of our uh, cuticle oil, cuticle remover, nail polish remover, uh, lotion for all of our manicure, pedicure stuff. And like I said, remember that tip that I talked to you about with the plastic wrap? You can do that with this. Or you can also just tightly screw it on and then put it in a mini plastic bag so that it won't spill. All of our face stuff for our facials, we all we kind of had to buy that. Oh, that reminds me then. Let me show you our romantic robe. It's called a romantic robe. I have no idea. I guess because it just makes you look all romantic-y. But anyways, here it is. Here's a, what they call a romantic robe. Or we also got our drapes. We have our barber drape, our makeup, our drape for makeup, and my apron and my shampoo cape is all in my car, but that's what also what we got. So yeah, I guess that wraps it up. Um, so in my kit, I showed you the combs, the brushes, the, some of the, the capes, um, clipper cuts, some doll heads. I also gave you a few tips, so hopefully you guys can use that when you start school. So I guess that wraps up my kit and leave a question, criticism, comment, whatever it is about my kit, about school, about um, my previous video, about my textbooks, and I'll definitely get to that soon. And yeah, so hope you like this video. Love you guys. Bye.